I mean to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. surprise from the gun on third down gone and almost picked off I guess the good news for them now it's fourth down it's Johnny Hecker now an all pro three of the last four years on to punt as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt they only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. Throwing on third, gone. They got him in, it's Woods. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20. Sylvester Williams breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. Game clock at 2.01. Time for one final play before the two-minute warning. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. A minute 57 to go in this first half. A reminder that coming up in two minutes, we'll check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando with highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And I'm going to check in with a heater. I'm going to be right there with you, partner. And Zerline's kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. Just over 90 seconds to go in the first half. The offense with a football, but they have it in their own territory. We remind you, no night game tonight on Christmas Eve, but we make that up with two games under your tree tomorrow. Oh, that's nice. Yes. I'm just reading the card. I got to give props to our writer, Ed Brady, there. But we start with the Steelers and Texans at 4 Eastern. Eagles, a Super Bowl 15 rematch. You impressed that I know that? I'm very much impressed that you know that. Who was the MVP? <laughs> Yep, that'll be at 8.30 <laughs> Eastern from Philadelphia. Now a first down throw. Gone. Throw left side complete to Cup. A good pick up there. 26 yards. When I watched Jared Goff on tape at Cal, I saw a guy who wasn't just a dart thrower. You know, a lot of people said, ah, oh, he's perfect for the West Coast offense. I always thought he could do a little bit more, and that was the reason why. He can push it downfield. He has a good, strong arm. He's going to air one out. And that's going to wind up. 
up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Defense. So they saw the contact the before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. There's under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Daquan Jones able to get in there and drop him for a two-yard loss. On the run, Dunbar. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. The offense on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Out of the gun, golf. Flush to his right. This is caught, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. So the situation, it's third down in the third quarter, and this defense just trying to get the ball back to their offense to get back in this contest. A shotgun snap for Goff. They got a man over the middle. It's Woods. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Thought they were going to force him. Now in a pretty difficult situation is this defense up to the task. Ball in the red zone, second and five. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Now it's gone. And he's got it. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Robert Woods. kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. They'll run it now with Dunbar. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. He needed three. He got two. Now Zerline for the field goal try. This to make it a three-score game late. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And that will extend their lead even further.
everyone, I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. Nothing on the scoreboard thus far, but that might very well be about to change. as this offense comes up on a first and goal situation. From the gun, here's gone. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Sammy Watkins. situation here following the interception a golden chance for points as the offense is back out there with the first and goal to go time running out here on the play clock Goff now looking to throw his pass caught at the four and he's able to get it down to the two yard line a gain of seven that time. Second goal. See, in that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Malcolm Smith. He's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. Now Goff on third and goal. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he is going to feel that one. Knocked down hard at the 8-yard line. Uh, they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and Gordon made a nice play. seat belongs to the Seahawks. Russell Wilson, a first quarter touchdown pass in that one. Goff wants to throw on third and one. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. The game plan for any defense. As we drop you into the action, it's second down, second and five inside the red zone. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Now in a pretty difficult situation is this defense up to the task. Ball in the red zone, second and five. They'll run it now out of the gun, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles, and his feet never stop moving? Go off on first down. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he'll get into the 
end zone. Touchdown Rams. Tyler Higby. Just above one minute remaining here in the second quarter. This offense looking to get down at least into field goal range, but they're starting on their own side of the field. A busy final day for you coming up in the NFL. Final day of the year as well. 11 other games going. He's got a man complete. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Awfully nice when you have an athletic tight end who can go up and get the football. But when they're running a corner route, if they have any type of a fake inside, when they make the break to the corner, it's like they're running downhill away from defenders. And that usually gives them space to make a nice catch. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. To throw is gone. Oh, nearly picked. And yeah, maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. First down. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Robert Woods, the intended receiver that time. And it's second down. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's got to, have to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. Back to the air. Goff on second down. His throw incomplete. He was in search of his tight end, Tyler Higby, and it's third down. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden, it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying, no more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. Here's gone. And it's caught. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. So we've reached halftime here on... So no update from Larry after 17 weeks. Folks are saying... Let's get on with the show, so we'll oblige as we get you set for the second half kickoff. This one taken just inside the 10. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. the ball off the interception now can this offense take advantage great field position first and ten in the red zone after the interception here's gone that is caught at the seven and brought down but not before they get it inside the ten to the seven it's a good gain of 11 sets him up first and goal 
Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal, but you and I both know. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Rams use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. In as many coaches' meetings as we sit in, we hear the word finish all the time. the Cardinals who have scored to grab the lead there. Carson Palmer, two touchdown passes thus far. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Give him 11 yards that time and a new center. This offense has been lighting the scoreboard up. Now the question, can they add to their lead? We drop you in a red zone situation in the second half. Now Dunbar. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to... Desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. They'll run it now. Here's Dunbar. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. So on fourth down, Goff will yield to Greg Zerline for the field goal try. This to make it a three-score game late. And his kick is absolutely perfect. Around the NFL, here's an update from up in Seattle. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking, they think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong, whatever you call it. Trying to say I'm only in the me. Got a cold with my dogs, can't get in between. I can give them life, no more energy. Amen. Amen. Spent about 60 on the time, I can't even lie. No way in, no way out, doubt, do or die. So I roll when I roll, must be, must be, must be, must be. Amen. Amen. I can't ride bins, I don't do peace. I peace, I peace, I gotta eat. Saber tooth, tiger, diamond tooth, teeth. Rocking right now, won't you come peek? I was outside, I was outside. The way that, the way that shake, leave your mouth wide. You need to say grace for you, say thanks. Amen. Amen. 
There's left in my life, don't know what's in store. I've been dealing with these blessings that I can't ignore. Putting up the numbers, we ain't keeping score. Amen, amen. I be on the block, block by my side. Running in the house for us 12 o'clock. Yeah, the hood love me, but you gotta watch. Amen, amen. I just, I just three, I don't do sleep. Yeah, trying to, trying to see, see, yeah. UV. Yeah, we gon' fall through, coming through deep. Amen, amen. Yeah, packed it from the south, moved it to the west. I the logo on the cross, threw it on my neck. Yeah, when I rap the set, gotta stay blessed. Yeah, amen, amen. People trying to say I'm only in the me. Got a cold with my dogs, can't get in between. I can give them life, no more energy. Amen, amen. Man, put it into me. Everybody try to take the identity. Everybody around me turn to a friend of me. Sit back while I take on a remedy. I cannot let it get into me. This plan a toll on me, meant to me. Ooh, 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 ooh.